We humans have a gene called UBE3A. We need UBE3A for our brain cells to work properly. We get one copy of this gene from our mothers and one copy from our fathers. In most people, mom's copy expresses the UBE3A protein essential for normal brain development and function. But if mom's copy of UBE3A is mutated, it's like it is not there. Dad's copy cannot come to the rescue because it is stopped by a long antisense gene transcript, which prevents the UBE3A protein from being expressed. Little or no UBE3A results in Angelman syndrome, a rare neurodevelopmental disorder often misdiagnosed as cerebral palsy. Dr. Mark Zilka's lab at the UNC School of Medicine has developed a plan to release UBE3A from the antisense gene. CRISPR-Cas9 is a gene editing technique that allows scientists to make changes to any part of the genome with exquisite precision. The Zilka lab discovered where to cut the antisense transcript with CRISPR-Cas9. Cutting a piece of the antisense transcript out of the genome allows dad's copy of UBE3A to be produced and compensate for mom's missing copy. Using CRISPR-Cas9 as part of a gene therapy approach should result in properly working cells. It would be a one-time treatment for a lifetime effect. This research is possible because of a grant provided by the Angelman Syndrome Foundation.